Welcome to 1.6, Incidence Theorems. Okay, so a theorem is a statement that can be proved by logical progression of definitions, postulates, and previously proven theorems. So incidence theorems are made from the incidence postulates. I'm sure that you could have guessed that, but um, these are our first uh, test in being a geometric lawyer. That's what you have to think of yourself as, as we prove theorems. Okay, so here's the first one. If two distinct lines intersect, they intersect in one and only one point. So the pair of lines on your left are parallel. They're never gonna intersect ever just like our little math funny today. So the lines on the right intersect in one point. Is it even possible for them to intersect at more than one point? It looks something like that. Is that a line? One of them is a line. The other one is a curve. Okay, it is not a line, so it is impossible Okay, the second one is a line and a point not on the line are contained in one and only one plane. Okay, we're going to do our WISC summary on this particular theorem. So I'm going to hold off with some explanation because with the questions I've asked you on your summary, I think you'll do some self-discovery with this. Okay. The third one is two intersecting lines are contained in one and only one plane. So no matter where in space two intersecting lines are, there can be a plane that goes through both of them. Okay, think of an X in space. It makes a flat plane. Fourth is two parallel lines are contained in one and only one plane. Same idea, just different kind of lines. If I have two parallel lines, regardless of how they are in space, one plane can go through both of them. Okay, and as promised, here's your WISC summary. And I just want you to look at this diagram. There is a line AB and then a point C that is non-collinear with points A and B. So I want you to answer these five questions in your WISC summary and email them to me, and I'll see you in class.